I'm watching, I'm watching the hockey playoffs. Seriously, what do you want? All right, all right, all right. Fine, I'll do my job. Okay, okay, so we gotta make this one quick because uh, game's on. So, uh, you wanna know about um, uh, summer crossovers? Uh, we're gonna talk about Marvel's summer crossover. It is uh, Fear Itself, uh, it's gonna be seven issues. Uh, it is Thor and Captain America centered um, because there's some sort of multimedia thing coming out uh, at a Googleplex near you. So. Uh, written by Matt Fraction. Uh, his most recent stuff was on Thor. Really, really good writing. Real solid writing. Uh, the art is by Stuart Immonen, and you'd know it from uh, Next Wave, which if you've never read it, you really need to. His, his work is, as I would describe it, good comic book art. There's good, solid, dark line work. Um, you will like it. Um, so, this is not where you should start, though. You should start with Book of the Skull. Okay, this is the prologue. Um, in it, it tells the base story of a World War II centered cap story. Um, and the Red Skull's daughter going after an evil hammer. Um, this sets up the base stuff that happens in Fear Itself. Base story. Base story is going to center around the Asgardians leaving Earth. Um, for whatever reason, probably fear itself, uh, the Allfather, Odin, is taking the Asgardians and beats the crap out of Thor and leaves the planet and leaves the humans to their own uh, misfortune. Um, you don't really learn all that much. You're, you're driven with the fact that something is falling to Earth and that Odin is hightailing it out of town. Um, now the, he the heroes that are left are probably going to face uh, their greatest fears, huh? um, and go from there. The, the, the hopes that I have for this is that we're looking at more of a true superhero-oriented storyline. We can just hope that it's big, giant, big screeny, blockbustery type action. That's the hope. Okay, and then there's the other side to all of this. Uh, my fears, you might say. Um, whenever one of these big companies does a major uh, crossover event, there's a ton of extra books, a lot of miniseries and one-shots. And Marvel certainly has plenty of those. Um, but my hope is that those will not be tied in quite as, as, uh, as hard. You won't have to read them. Um, over the years, we have seen and I know Marvel has seen this too, They're, those don't sell. Um, the first issue of Fear Itself didn't sell what I would have hoped. So we can hope that my fears are unfounded and that people will find out this is a good story, read it, enjoy it, and, uh, and buy it. Seven issues. I hope. I hope I'm not keeping my house warm this winter <clears throat> with fear itself. I gotta get back to the game, uh, but uh, when we do get back, be it a week, a month, as long as it takes the Nux to destroy the competition and take Lord Stanley's Cup back to Canada where it so rightfully belongs, uh, we will take a look at Flashpoint, which is DC's big crossover. Um, it's, it, that's going to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, my name is Marcus Noslin, the greatest Swede to ever play hockey in the NHL. This is a comic Illuminati, and you can consider yourself enlightened. Shh.